What's going on guys, my name is Intech and welcome back to Unturned. In today's video, I continue on with my mini guide series and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about attachments. The attachments that you can make, the attachments that you can find and how everything works together with your weapons. Now, first and foremost, the first thing you need to know is how to get to the attachments window. So if you hold T by default, you'll bring up this window right here. So in this window, depending on the gun that you're using, you might find that you have an option for a barrel attachment a tactical attachment, a sight attachment, and then you have your magazine. Now, the Matamoris, which is what this is, actually has a built-on suppressor, so you're not going to have any kind of barrel attachment here, but you can see that I do have a tactical attachment with the vertical grip. So you can actually change those if you find some kind of tactical attachment, like the tactical laser. Go ahead and bring up, bring up back up this window with T and then click on the tactical laser. Now you can see that I have a nice little tactical laser and you can turn that on and off using F. So there it is right there. So I'm going to put the vertical grip back on and I'm going to put away the tack laser for now. And now let's take a look at several other guns because there are uh, some important things to note about different guns. So like I was saying, certain guns actually have the ability to have varying kinds of attachments. So with the Desert Falcon here, you can see I have a barrel, a sight, and then I have my mag. So I don't have a tactical option. So I could put on some kind of barrel attachment. So let's go into our storage here and we'll take out the flash hider. And now you can see that we can put that on the barrel. And we could do the same thing if we had a sight attached as well. So I'm going to put that away. And then let's bring out the Timberwolf. Now the Timberwolf has an option for tactical and a sight, but no barrel, okay? And then if we bring out the Pro 90, you can see that the Pro 90 has the option for barrel, tactical, sight, and then you have your mag. So the Pro 90 can have a lot of different things attached to it. Just kind of as a quick little walkthrough of what things can have, you have for the pistols, you have the Breda, and the Breda can have all but a tactical, the Colt can have all but a tactical, Desert Falcon all but a tactical, the Magnum all but a tactical. So all the pistols, all but tacticals. Outfields, Mosin, Zubeknikovs, Uzis can all have all varying kinds of attachments. The Matamoris, like I said, has a built-in suppressor. Pro 90 can have everything. Maple Strike can have everything. Swiss can have everything. The Timberwolf, like I said, has no barrel. The double barrel has no barrel. The lever action has no barrel. The Nova has everything but a tactical. The long bow doesn't have anything. The compound bow has everything but a barrel, and so does the crossbow. So there is actually a quick little reference to what everything can have. There's a list on the wiki, and I'll put that in the description below, but that's just kind of a quick walkthrough of what everything can have. So let's talk about some of the things that you can actually craft, because you can actually craft three different kinds of attachments currently. You have the tactical light, the muffler, which is like a weakened suppressor, and then the zoomomatic, which is just like an improvised sight. So the first and foremost, the tack light, which is pretty cool that you can actually craft that. You need one hand lamp and two duct tape. So you just bring that up into your crafting window. I don't know why I always do that. And your hand lamp, which you can find both of these in pretty much any construction site. And there we go with our tactical light. Now I'm just going to go ahead and drop that because I already have one. So the next thing that I'm going to craft is a zoomomatic, which is basically an improvised sight. So we just need one binocular and then two duct tape. So let's go ahead and put those. Why do I always do that? Put those into our crafting area, our binos, and then we have our zoomomatic. The Zoomomatic's pretty interesting because it's just a really weird looking sight. And I'll put it on so you can see it. Look at this thing. It looks massive on your gun. And so you can see that I have like a sight, but I don't have any kind of like aiming reticule at all. So let's just try to kill this zombie, shall we? Let's center it up. Oh, headshot, first shot. Oh, so you can see, so you can actually do it. It just would probably take a little bit of time to use to get used to and uh you know it might be hard to use in like a pvp situation or something like that so that's the zoomomatic it's a rather interesting thing that you can craft so the last thing we're going to craft is a muffler and we're going to have to take a little trip to do that so let's go do that right now all right so in order to make your muffler the improvised suppressor you need to actually go to a campfire so we have our campfire here that we've used for multiple different things in various videos and we need to have two cans and two canned colas so once we have those we'll go ahead and put our colas in go ahead and put our cans in and then with our fire you can see that we can make a muffler now if you let's just go away here and you can see that if you try to do that without a fire 
can't make anything. So you need the fire to make a muffler. So we'll go ahead and make that and we'll put it on. Actually, I'll have to go get a different weapon because can't put it on the uh, Matamoras. So here's a muffler. We'll craft that. All right, so here we go. We got our Desert Falcon. I'm going to put the muffler on and you can see what this weird looking thing looks like. So that's how you make a muffler and uh, that's what it does. It's an uh, improvised suppressor. You can see my guy there with it. All right, so let's go ahead and shoot at this zombie and you guys can hear for yourself what this thing sounds like. So there you go. That is the muffler. That's what it sounds like. Easy thing to craft if you have two cans and two can colas and access to a campfire. All right, so we're going to use the Pro 90 for the sake of the video because I found it right before the video and because it's going to have everything attached to it. So first and foremost, let's talk about the sights. We've already covered the Zoomomatic, but now let's cover the Point Circle sight. This is just a very basic sight. It's, it's rather nice. Let's uh, take a look at the... Let's see, we got six times, seven times, 12 times, 20 times, which is only found on the Timberwolf. We've got the hollow and we got the red dot. So let's put the red dot, let's just take all these out. All right, then let's take a look at the red dot site as it is a very nice, clean looking site. A lot of people like this. That's, that's what that looks like. You can find a lot of these sites in various militia and military locations. And let's take a look at the hollow. I like the hollow a lot. I've liked the hollow in pretty much every game I've ever played that's had hollow graphic sites available. That's the hollow site. All right, so then let's talk about the six times zoom scope, which can actually be found by itself or on varying items such as the crossbow. This is a medium range site. It's like the best of both worlds, I think, of uh, close and long range because you don't feel like you're zoomed in too much. Now, the seven times is one of my favorite. I've used it on the Matamoras for a long time. It's got that nice little guide there. Very thin lines, reticule in the middle. And I mean, you can see the difference between this and the six times. Let's put the six times back on. You can see how thick that is. I don't really like that. Uh, I mean, it, it, it's nice for some people, but I I like the thin lines because I like to see more of my uh, target area. So with the seven times, oh, I keep doing that with the ammo. It's overlapping. With the seven times though, you know, you have the, it's very thin. It's just really clean. I like it a lot. Then we have the 12 times zoom scope, which is what I've actually started using more on the Matamores. You have another guide and you do actually have a nice white crosshair in the middle there as well as some thin lines. So this is uh, one of my new favorite scopes. And then you do have the 20 times, which can be found on the Timberwolves. And the 20 times is the longest scope in game. And uh, it is uh, very, very good and very good on the Timberwolf. And you can see this. This one actually has it on there. So that's the 20 times. Very, very nice. Timberwolf is beast little picky so that's the 20 time that's all the sites next to the zoomomatic which we've covered already but we'll take a look at it one more time just so you guys can see it did I drop it on the ground or what I did I've got no space let's put these uh let's put these away and there's the goofy looking zoomomatic look at that look at that thing so that's the zoomomatic all right so let's talk about the rest of the attachments you can get for your gun we have the bipod, we have the flash hider, the suppressor, vertical grip, attack light, tactical laser, you have the muffler, you have a bayonet and an angle grip, which I could not find. The bayonet is obviously a item that you can attach to your to your gun that can be used to shank zombies essentially or other players. And the bayonet by default is uh, used by hitting F, it's I don't really like it that much because it is kind of hard to use in my opinion because you do have to kind of, unless you change the key binding I guess, you do have to kind of most of the time walk backwards and hit at the same time and walk side to side which can be kind of hard. So, you know, you can find the bayonet at militia locations and various other locations where you can find rare items. But the bayonet, um, uh, to me, it's just, I, I don't really like it that much. Now the other item that I couldn't find for the sake of this video but I found it plenty of times before is the angle grip. And the angle grip does exactly what the vertical grip does but instead of vertical recoil it reduces horizontal recoil so it is rare you can find it in military locations it is a good tactical attachment if you want to reduce your horizontal recoil 
All right, so let's cover these varying attachments. Now, first and foremost, let's just go ahead and read these. So for the bipod, you can see rail-mounted bipodular supportifier, which is probably the best thing that you can get in terms of uh, reducing recoil all around. Now, obviously, laying down is you know a huge thing that you can do to uh, reduce any kind of recoil. And then we have the flash hider, which is a military-grade flash hider. It does exactly what it says it does. Suppressor, military grade suppressor, very, very nice. I mean, I, I pretty much use suppressors on every weapon I use if I can, and that's probably one of the reasons why I use the Matamoras a lot, you know, alongside the fact that the Matamoras is just all around, I think, the best weapon in game. That's my personal opinion, but that's what I think of the Matamoras. The vertical grip is designed to reduce vertical recoil, like we talked about, tactical light, rail mounted powerful light, and then tack laser. And so let's go ahead and take a look at what these look like. So we got the muffler again. You can see the muffler there. You have the flash hider. You have the suppressor, which is just, I really like suppressors a lot. Then you have for your tactical, you have the bipod, which if you, you know, obviously want to re reduce the most recoil, laying down helps a lot, crouching helps, bipod is very nice as well. Then you have the vertical grip, which I use on the Matamoras. You have the tactical light. Everything looks weird on the on the Pro 90, I know. And you can turn this on and off using F. So I'm going to turn my minor summon back on. It's actually about to be day. And then we have the tactical laser, which we've already taken a look at. So this is basically what the tactical laser does. It just like points an air, points a little red dot where you're aiming. Although this, I don't really like to use this because it can be very confusing, especially if you don't use it all that often. So I don't prefer to use the tactical laser, but once again, that's just my personal opinion. So currently, those are the attachments that are in game. They can be found at militia locations, military locations, rare item spawn locations. They are, uh, you know, very useful to have. It just depends on how you play. But like, for example, let's say you use the Matamoras. You know, you want to put a bipod on instead of the vertical grip, which I think I'm actually going to start doing more of. And instead of having like the seven times that comes with it, you want to have a 12 times or a 20 times. And, and I actually prefer to have the 12 times, like I said. And uh, it just depends on how you play. But that's the attachments that are currently in game. More things may be added in the future, especially when modding support comes around. I'm sure there's going to be all kinds of different things. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you did, make sure to click that thumbs up button below. Feel free to subscribe for more unturned action as well as other games. You guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you next time.